All right. It's the Cares None Be Dope podcast. I am your host, Chris Cares None, and I'm with my co-host, Derek Fisher. What's up, man? What's going on, baby brother? Today's a big day. It's inauguration day. Inauguration day. A lot of motherfuckers is happy. A lot of motherfuckers is mad. That's cool. <laughs> That's called democracy, my nigga. Yeah. Um. Now, let's let's get right into it. Yeah, will there or will there not be in civil war? Or is there one happening already? Uh, no, nah, I don't think so. Civil war? Like, people got to chill out with this with, whole with civil war With that word, shit. right? Right. That <laughs> word is kind of vicious. Yeah, people got to realize this ain't 1863, my nigga. Like, that was a whole slavery issue. Like, yeah, I don't think it's a civil war thing. I think it's some, that was some mad ass, uh, good, good old boys storming capitals. Very privileged type shit, but yeah. Yeah, because the good old party still, that's the motherfucker still around. Oh, yeah. It's a, and it's a system, it's a systematic thing, too. But, yeah, that was just some old wild and out type shit. That, it that feels like way. that the... That's a Trumpism thing. The Republican Party has split a little bit from, like, Trump supporters and then Republicans. They have to. Bit. They had to, man. It was it was literally a Trumpism thing. I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if Trump tries to do his own party type of shit. Yeah, but I think that's why this impeachment impeachment is important for a lot of motherfuckers. So you can't do yeah, that. Yeah, I know. Right? I know. That's kind of the whole point of it. Yeah, that shit should be starting like any minute, right? It should be probably today. <laughs> shit, what, you, what y'all <laughs> doing? <laughs> I was telling them, telling you off uh, off air the meme I just read that said the inauguration looked a little fancy for somebody who owed me two thousand dollars. <laughs> like <laughs> I'm gonna need y'all to go ahead and uh, you know send that money over. Hey, they were so plush and so clean. Everybody was just just super fitted. At the inauguration, I, I watched the entire thing. That was pretty. It was pretty fly. Yeah, I watched a good percentage of it, and um, it's crazy that it's been four years since Trump's been in all, four years. Yeah, I remember the day he won. <laughs> my was going ham at my job. The women was so scared. <laughs> it was crazy. Yeah, that that was the funniest part is how many people were like crying. Yeah, when, it, but then like when Obama won, a lot of people were crying because they were happy. Mm-hmm. You it's know? a tale of two different Americas, though, man. We we still trying to grapple with this whole "what is America?" Like, what are we what are we trying to represent? And what are we trying to be? Are we trying to be this um, this this seventeen seventy six ass America? Or are we trying to be the one that we trying to portray now in twenty twenty? Yeah, and, and and it seems like all the all the rules and cons- that was written back then. It feels like it all needs to be overhauled, or a lot a good yeah. portion of it. Would you would you agree? Yeah, I mean, th- I think that's the that's kind of the thing. You you're trying to keep a base. You know what I mean? Because you, as a nation, you try to keep that whole, you know, formal base and shit. But at the same time, this shit is so not like what it was 240, 40, 50 years ago. Like, right. not even close. They would, Those presidents would wake up like, what the hell is this? You know? So, it's kind of a struggle. I get it, you know? Yeah, I'm wondering, so, like, do, do we just have to, like, do you need somebody like Trump? Do you need somebody to come fuck it up in order for it? Because I would argue, I think we said this before. Whether you fuck with Trump or not, having him in office has been a good thing in the long run because look how many conversations got started. Look yeah, how many things people super. are coming around. My, I was just talking to my grandmother. You heard me? Like, sh- my grandmother wasn't even talking to her sister for years. And they have become best entire friends over this past four years because of Trump. Because they just can't Cause, cause stand on- <laughs> Now, one thing I have noticed that the older crowd definitely fucks with the news. Oh yeah, they all they all over it. That's 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 their first television. That's cartoons for them and shit. I can't do it though. Like, and listen, I ain't gonna lie. I've been doing the uh, I've been doing a lot of politics, but I I don't get I don't get mine from like CNN as much. You'll see that shit because someone else will post it, so you'll still see some of it. Yeah. I don't personally follow those CNNs and CNBCs. I like to follow independent people who who I feel again, just my opinion, who I feel are like. Not biased to one side or another. Yeah, 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 yeah. Call out both sides, you know. So I've been, but like I said, I've been more engaged. Yeah, than, than ever. I've been than, than ever. ever before in in a lot of shit. Than ever, I will say we are a lot more involved in it too. Like that's yeah. yeah. So yeah, so what what is this? Oh yes, this is uh. So this is my home girl. Um, this get the is, lighter. Yes, I'm sorry. This is um. So my home girl has a small business that she just started. It's called Godly Juice and Herbs. So basically, it is um, herbal teas, and these are drinkable and smokable. Um, actually, this one that we're smoking now is it's a mixture of sage, lavender, passion flower, and chamomile. Yeah, it smells. It, it smells like a. It smells. It smells like. A, what's what's the Bed Bath and Beyond here yeah. or some shit? It's got <laughs> like. A, <laughs> 
I, 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 I sell like essential it. oils. I, I, need, I, know, I right? want a massage. <laughs> I want a massage. I want a massage right now with a happy ending. <laughs> <laughs> so shout out to her though, Jocelyn and my girls. Um, Godly juices and herbs. You can get these on Etsy. Um, also her her Instagram, Godly Juice and Herbs. Like she she's really killing. It, so just supporting a small business. And this can actually be mixed with THC or CBD. If you bought that life. If you bought that life. But if not, it's also a nice. See, the one thing cool about this is for the people who don't want to smoke, and get like the effects. But still like the like the smoking aspect, mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. the actual lighten up. Right. Because there is something very, w- w- would you say, something very like communal. It is. Something about like, you know, oh, yeah, you, hit it. you know what I'm saying? It's and it's been, been away for thousands yeah. or, or like the beginning yeah. of time. Smoking, thousands. Smoking crazy opioids and yeah. <laughs> all kinds of crazy shit. But um, it, it, it gives you like that little, you know. Yeah, it does. And it actually gets you a little, little, little. I mean, it's not going to get you goddamn weed high, but. It gets you a little, little, little nice. So she, she definitely been doing her thing, studying her herbal, um, herbal treatments and whatnot. So, how long she been support. doing it? You know, um, I, I just kind of got with it recently. I'm pretty sure she's been going, she's been going through her process just like we have. You know, just growth, and she actually just moved out to uh, Arizona and she's farming right now and doing her thing, growing her natural herbs. So, just, just, just getting in the zone, just like everybody else, man. I'm proud of her. Yeah, I was. Uh well, first, to talk about, I had an edible, and uh, do you like edibles? No. Why not? Uh, they take too long to figure out if they're going to get you high. <laughs> right, high. that's how you get fucked up. I don't even, I'm like, am I going to get high? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. So, um, I've had bad experiences with it because it's like, okay, I'm going to take this cookie, but I don't know when it's going to get me high. But if it does give me high, that shit gonna fuck me up. <laughs> right, right. It's kind of hard for me to judge how it's much. It's hard to enough. gauge. Yeah, it's very hard to gauge. Because, you know, like, what peas, what size, middle, all that shit. You're yeah. Like, and then that's how you end up doing too much mm-hmm. for for your, you know, level of what you can tolerate because you didn't hit, you know. Yeah, but then that's the thing. You you take some, and then you have to wait an hour for it to work, but then it may or may not work. So now I, re- I register smoking and know it's going to work. Right, right. You know. Uh, it's like a different high, though. To me, it's a different high when you. I, I I say it's it's less intense when when I eat it personally. As far as like, oh man, I don't know about. That. I know because Mike wouldn't agree with that either. Mike, mm. uh, Mike, one of his worst episodes was when he took edibles. Me too. And this motherfucker said he was he was caught by the police. Oh no, I ain't had that episode. <laughs> Na- naked on the expressway. Story <laughs> 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 real time. <laughs> I'm like, how you that <laughs> fucked up? You know, nigga. And in Minnesota, it was his first week in Minnesota. Nigga was cold turned. like Minnesota, boy. So, uh, yeah, but I had an edible. But, like, yeah, you got to be careful. So, I, I don't know if I got the full effects. Well, no, I was definitely fucked up. I went on live last night and was fucked up. But it, it creep, and it does creep on you. It's up when you're smoking, you know, you kind of get high instantly. Oh, yeah. You know? Oh, yeah, absolutely. You ever do uh, hookah? Yes, that was my that was my little introduction to smoking. Actually, I used to do hookah lounges like crazy. That was so my vibe. I never understood it, and like I understand it now, just because the whole vibe and we in this you know little yeah, it's vibe. more of a vibe thing. For me. But like you never really got anything from it. No, you can get smoking is it creates some type of it, it's always some type of chemical that's doing something with your body and your brain, your brain and your bloodstream and all that stuff. Um, Even the uh, hookahs. Yeah, but like you can get not angle, so you're getting fucked up, but you do feel some type of different effect. Like I used to actually, I can't smoke too much hookah because it kind of gets you, kind of got me feeling a little, little weird and shit. Kind of like like cigarette buzz, like that yeah, cigarette buzz. Yeah, I feel like it's more so kind of like that. I've never smoked a cigarette before. You ever had? Like you ever had? A, you never had a cigarette? No. <laughs> okay, I smoked a pack <laughs> for a, a pack of cools. I was smoking hey, cools. <laughs> I did that for like a week, and I, I remember thinking, "This the dumbest shit ever." <laughs> I remember thinking, wait, first of all, I can't afford this shit. Mm. They were like, this back in the day, these motherfuckers like $7 back, and they're like $40 now. I know, oh my God. Motherfuckers smoking cigarettes. Anyways, I remember thinking, you know what? Fuck this. This is dumb. And I never went back. Oh, yeah? Yeah, But I know, here's my thought. How in the hell you start smoking and didn't instantly think it was horrible? Didn't instantly think it was horrible to smoke I instantly would say, this is dumb. A cigarette? It hurts. (laughs) <laughs> my chest hurts. <laughs> my esophagus is on fire. Uh, I got this weird yeah, head know. buzz. So, yeah, you never experienced it. But the only thing cool about smoking cigarettes was you get breaks. Yeah. You get, like, a lot of breaks at yeah, work you and do shit. Get, and they respe- people respect the shit. Yeah, I, I, ain't that fucked up? 
How you get more respect hey, for killing work. yourself faster than I do for not? I'm telling you, that's crazy, ain't it? Yeah, niggas go outside. They, they get like 10 breaks. Shit. And don't let the manager smoke. Oh, yeah. It's a, then you good. Yo, I had a manager. I had a manager. We was She was cool with us uh, with the vape pens and shit. She was cool with us just in the back. Uh, back of house, I should say. If you got your vape pen, do your thing. But as soon as you go on the floor, obviously. Yeah, yeah put cool. it away. And I, that, was, that was cool, but I was like, damn, because she was a smoker. She kind of understood. Then we had a new manager come in. She's like, what the fuck is going on? Right? I know. It's just a matter of what you, what you yeah, do. Yeah, it's just yeah. a matter of what you do. Let me ask you this. A little off topic, but on the same topic. How do you feel about a company telling you you can't have your cell phones on the floor? I feel like... It's kind of obsolete. Yeah, that's obsolete now. You gotta. That's that cell phone shit is so old. That that's when cell phones were first coming out. And motherfuckers, you can't do this. Hey, cell phone is used for literally everything. I whip my shit out. I, I mean, there's a lot of jobs time. that require you to pull your, your cell phone out now. Yeah. To like use your cell phone uh, for shit. Yeah, a lot of that stuff is gonna be obsolete though. That a cell phone is pretty much like food, water, and shelter at this point. Um, yeah, pretty that much. Shit, I mean, food, water, shelter, internet. That's basically yeah, you, you, yeah, you know you what I mean. Have, that's so, how big the internet is. That's nigga. how big that shit is. <laughs> internet it's is like, like unfair if you don't have internet. You are ill informed. Yep. You can't have somebody out here ill informed. You gotta have the internet. I ain't gonna lie, man. And I I hate this because I know there might be the that new millennial new people shit. But I really feel like I don't when I'm not when I don't have my cell phone or I have some type of connection to the internet. I have that like you be scratching and shit. Yeah, like I'm just like I'm not like connected. My internet was down for a couple hours yesterday. I was dissing bush, but look, I'm my internet was down and I couldn't call my cable company because <laughs> I didn't have that number. Right, right, so, right. And I couldn't search it on the internet, so I'm like, you just I had literally to deal need with the it? internet. Now I had to call my building people to get them to get them to give me the number. So you literally need the internet. You know what I mean? I couldn't even fix shit. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't even fix the internet. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked. That it's it's taken over our life. And, and can you just imagine what the next thing, like the internet thing, will be? I know, man. They say a uh, blockchain is it, um, and but to me, that's just a byproduct of. That's that, just I know, I know. Well, I heard like like it's gold two point right? It's the new goal. It's the yeah, digital goal. Yeah, pretty much, pretty much. Yes, yeah, so I've been doing a lot of interesting. Like I think we talking off off yeah. camera about. Uh, Blockchain and I'm like, wait a minute, all right, it's the getting financial technology. Motherfucker is talking about a little too much now, and it's just a, just a money grab. But I'm like, you know, here's the only thing I don't like about it is that it could be turned off because it's online, right? Whereas actual gold, if I have it in my possession, it's mine, so I physically cannot lose it. That's yeah, the only that's, downside. That's also becoming obsolete though, because every look, we well, precious we, metals might not go obsolete if they die, if they don't, if there aren't any more, yeah. That's what my, my point is. Whatever gold's on the in the world now the world. is will always be what's in the world, unless they get some asteroid that brings more. Right, right. But like, like it, it melts down to just a different form; doesn't melt away. Right, right, right. Right. So I think precious metals. Is there? A, is there? Is there? A, wait, but it doesn't it make it precious if there's not a lot of it? That's the whole. Well, I think it mean, when it's a finite amount is what right. I think. I could be wrong in that, but I think whenever there's something that's a, that's why Bitcoin should work. Yeah, is because there's a finite amount where, and right, right, whereas right, right. with a dollar you can keep printing it and and keep raising inflation exactly. where you can't do that. Well, that was the thing about gold; like it was so, it, it, well, it was so rare. But then it's kind of became enough around the world. We started to discover so much around the world to where we could use it, but it still was a finite amount. So I, I'm not sure. How, well, yeah, I guess you can still reuse it and shit like that. Yeah, you, you reuse it, down, it you right? melt it down, make new shit. You know. Yeah, yeah that's true. That's and there's true. a lot of gold and all kind of shit that you don't realize. A lot of shit it, like bones and yeah. yeah, 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 all those precious metals and stuff. But I will say that everything gets transitioning through the internet type of thing. So even no, we I were just it. talking about running a small or just a business, small business, whatever you want to call it. You brought in a business, you can do this shit literally through your computer screen. You don't even have to have a physical space, so right, all that right. physical shit is that's it's just slowly transitioning to becoming. No, obsolete. I no, I, I I for sure I think Bitcoin's here. Not just Bitcoin, all the cryptocurrencies yeah. are here to stay, and blockchain is here to stay. Yeah, we just I think it's Bitcoin is well, blockchain is kind of the reason that it's all capable. You know what I mean? But uh, Bitcoin is probably just the first form of uh, currency that's kind of in that realm where it's really popping. But I think we're gonna have something eventually where there's gonna be like a universal type of currency. Because blockchain allows everything to be decentralized, right, you right, know what I mean. Right, so right. everybody, you don't have a euro or a U.S. dollar. All this shit is just, do you have the money? You right, know? right. And then you can't. There's no exchange rates and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, which know? is right, right. Yeah, 
I, I, I've been doing some research, and I, I think I'm about to get on board, man. Because people saying it's about you. to go vicious. I got you. It's been it's been doing this. They thing. say it's going for the moon, but like they saying it's even. It should be even more. Like, what is it? Thirty thousand right now? I, last time I saw it was like twenty two, but it could be thirty by now. Okay, so it's there, but there's a lot of smart people saying it could be upwards of four hundred thousand. Oh yeah, I heard that too. <laughs> like smart as like like no, nah, this is guaranteed, oh, yeah. and the government is. The, the banks and governments are starting to say, okay, we got something yeah, here. Yeah, you know banks what I'm are doing it, selling it to you. I actually, um, we got to get you set up with some stock market shit, bro. It's, but, well, I got my stash account. You got the stash? Hey. This, this is a sponsor, but shout out stash. I ain't got shit, ain't it? Shout bro. out to Robin Hood. Robin Hood, stash, all the motherfuckers. Mm-hmm. Uh, Check my portfolio. But yeah, you know what? Let's talk about that. Let's talk about education when it comes to just like finances. Like I wasn't. I'm up 434. There you go, baby. Look at you. <laughs> I'm up uh, 19. Nice portfolio. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What you got stocks in? I got. I did hella research on stocks. So I, I do a lot of ETFs. A lot of a lot of a lot of YouTube University. Just no, for sure. <laughs> again, to, again. If you ain't on YouTube, learn some internet. shit. <laughs> Real talk though. Yeah. I, most of my leisure time, a good percentage of it is still. Like, what I do for fun mm-hmm. is looking on how to improve my shit. Absolutely. Like, that's fun to me now. And I love it because these are individuals. These ain't somebody trying to sell you. A lot of times, not somebody trying to really sell you shit. It's just listening to people who have something or done something that you haven't done. That you haven't done. I love it. I love it, man. And you can you can trust that, that the information, for the most part, is good is because the idea is to give people value, right? right. And then you put your shit on YouTube, and then YouTube will actually pay you. For giving people value. For giving people value. So why would you give, you know, I'm, I'm not saying people don't do it, but but the 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 business model is to give value because people that's when people fuck with. If, mm-hmm. if you have shitty value, the market will dictate. Exactly. It'll show it. It'll show face really quickly. Like the thumbs up, thumbs working. down. Like I, I, I've i never been a big fan of the thumbs down because I, I would just skip it. Mm-hmm. But, and a lot of times it does help because if you c- click on a video, and you see that the, the the thumbs down is way higher than the thumbs up. So I'm like, okay, so that's interesting. So yeah. I click on it, and then I'll instantly see, oh, I see why. I personally still won't thumbs down it mm-hmm. because I'm just not like that. But I can see, like, if it's a bad video, if you can't hear it, if it's just a shitty video, the market's going to dictate that. Yeah, for sure. Now, there's always going to be some haters regardless, but those ratios are always so different, you know. Yeah. Like, if you, like, if you have, like, 10,000 likes or thumbs up, you'll get, like, 50 thumbs down, you of know, course, so it's like, course. it's just, man, who, who, who's just going around thumbs down and shit I all know, the time? who are these people? I really don't I know. Don't, they they got to be closet. They got to be closet people. Man, but a lot of this stuff be computers and all type of shit, Yeah, man. yeah, like bots and shit. Yeah, Just going around yeah. down, thumbs down, like, <laughs> what, what asshole created that? Who creates some I'm, evil shit like I that? I bet you there's some money in it, though. There's money in everything. I bet you there's some money in thumbs down and the shit out of shit. Out of shit, excuse <laughs> so, me. <laughs> That don't even, that's so crazy to me. I, there's money in everything. People, is it's a lot of, everything is exchange, man. Everything is about exchange. I know, um, it, it's funny you say that about the exchange because I'm in, I've been exchanging all the, like, I've been trying to break people's, uh, how about this? Let me, let me, let me scratch that. I'm, so, we were talking about this offline. I'm so shocked on how you can make something legit. Right, mm-hmm. with very little of what you thought it would take to make it legit. Absolutely. So, like for anyone who's out here trying to build something, like me and you, you and I, and a lot of people, do you t- you can find ways to do shit relatively cheap. The internet made shit cheap, mm-hmm. right? And because people don't have these storefronts and shit, mm-hmm. and they can do it all from online and come to their home, then you cross out some of that cost in the middleman, right? Absolutely. And then you could just make your shit official. Like, for instance, with me and the, the products that I've been selling, I, I can now get the branding with the with the customizable this, the customizable tissue, the, right. the, the inserts, the stickers, the hang tag. You, you know, never would have been able to see. You like, would never even consider. Like you got to go to a damn warehouse. Yeah, or right, like right. That. And you, you can literally plug. just do it from your crib. Yep. All from your crib. You don't even got to dip at all. So it's like, man, you, there's really no excuse. Like, don't, like, no matter what your shit is. That whole you can't like nah man you can mm-hmm. you might even have to bootleg some shit whatever 
there's a level for whatever you're at online. You can find the answer yeah, to it. Yeah, that's true. Whatever level you want to be at. Too. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. And then you just slowly just grow with it. You know, right, let me right. figure this part out. Boom. Okay, let me up it a little bit. Boom. That's, that's the fun part, man. Just just figuring shit out. What do I want to add to my business, if you will, or whatever I, whatever I'm doing. But yeah, how can I improve it? And it's, it's everything is on the internet for you to find it out. Yep. How to improve it, and that whichever way you, you literally just put in how to improve <laughs> enter whatever the fuck you talking I'm about. Telling you. The full whatever you just said. <laughs> How to improve dot 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 whatever the fuck you want, and you can do it. Right now, uh, you gotta put the shit in. You know, it's crazy. I'm telling you. How to make a custom shoestring or some shit. Like real, I guarantee you, you probably do that. Absolutely. Um. So yeah, I I've been hella addicted to, and like I said, I've been getting into the financing world, trying to get that. Cause That's and to go back to the original point, no one ever taught me the the essence of money. Mm-hmm. No one ever taught me anything like that growing up. How can anybody teach you that if they don't know it? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so definitely culturally, yeah. mm-hmm. you have to have someone who puts you, you know, in the right direction. Thank God I had like Steve right, who, who right. was taught a little bit. So cool, yeah. You're right. And then uh, and then the internet, right? Right. So I'm, I, I feel like, you know, I don't have an excuse, but as far as knowing shit at a young age, I didn't have that. Mm-hmm. Uh, like the, but the, my grandmother, her best advice, shout out to my grandma who's probably watching this. Shout out to all of them. She, uh, her advice was, you know, don't get no credit card. You're going to fuck your life up. <laughs> right? That was the advice. That, that was the advice us. that you yeah, get. And, 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 and you right. can do it. And I remember thinking that was the only, I actually made this comment. I'm like, yeah, that's probably the best advice my grandmother's ever gave me. And then she was like, I mean, no disrespect. It's actually terrible advice. Mm-hmm. You should make the credit work for you, you know. So, and, and that, that was my whole point. Yeah. Her advice was that, and that's not good advice. Right. The good advice is get credit, learn how to use it, you know, responsibly, get your behaviors right, instead of just sticking away from it and not knowing and understanding it. So then yeah. if you do fall into the temptation and getting it, now you're fucked because you have no idea exactly how to handle it. Yeah, we just taught about money differently, man, or uh, just not really taught at all, actually. Um, but Very little. And, and we're taught to, like, get it and spend it, mm. like, and you said that's just an American consumer thing too, right? Yeah, but it's it's it's. You think I it's like more? to say it's an American consumer thing. You're absolutely right in that, but it's a it's a it's a certain type of person that they're targeting, though. It's a they it's a person who there's the haves and the have nots. They want the have nots to to consume everything. They want them to get the money and just buy all their shit. Right. They don't they don't teach us to get money and invest and to make that money make money for you. You know, you notice when we get a lot more, most Americans, they get a paycheck and they go buy stuff, which, we're, you know, seems like a normal thing to do. But there's a lot of people out here who get money and put it in something to make them that money work for them. So right. they invest that money and then they go. Spend and it, it on is whatever. a small percentage of motherfuckers doing that. Our shit is always about, especially in our shit, it's like get the money and how much can I buy with this shit? Right. You know what I mean? It's like it's, it's like a it's like a mind fuck if you ask me, because the haves, they don't think like that. No. They, but they're telling you to consume all of their products. Right. Come buy this. You got this much money. You're a millionaire. You know how much shit you can buy? No. That's not you know how much thing, you know right. how many investments you can make and how much you can to you know flip what I'm it saying? to do more. Yeah, to flip it. They think in flipping terms. We think of in consuming terms. Right. That's a that's a mind fuck of America. Right. So like for instance, with uh the the profits that I get from shirts, almost all of it goes right back in right. to the business. Right. You know, for whatever that means. Very rarely in mind whatever profit I'm using to to go buy something from it. I'm like, no, nah, okay, just use this profits towards the next thing to make it better. Right. Just think about it. You sold a shirt and you got money for a shirt and you go buy like a a product bag. Another or shirt, yeah. No, no, no. But if you went to go like buy a big ass product bag and you just made a million a billionaire more richer, but you didn't get any of anything from that exchange. Right. Or you got something from that exchange, but it depreciated with value as soon as you got it. Right. I got the, the product, but. You got the product, and you're going to throw that shit away in four years, five. You know what I mean? So they got richer, though, and they're going to keep getting richer because so many people are going to buy their shit right, because right. we're all consumers. But they don't teach us. Like, the people in power, they're not teaching us to to invest that money like that. No. They're just teaching us to consume. That's why you got commercials all the fucking time, and, and everything is just in your face. Just buy, 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 buy. It's like a trick. You know, and it's fucked up because I'm kind of in on that too. Like, you know, which is fine, which is fine, but it's like it's because you're not. When at this point, you're not at a level where it's really, it's really like you're at the level where if you are a full blown consumer, you will never ever win. 
And that's the thing. Most of us are full blown consumers. We don't have any hand in investments right. at all. At all. 0%. All we do is consume. And that's like living. That's that nine to five shit. That's that paycheck to paycheck shit. That shit's horrible. Your money is you can you can never work as hard and as long and as much as your money can work. Right. Your money can work thousand times faster than you, but we don't understand that because we just think and, and they don't even it's teach a dollar, you that shit. Right, I right. can exchange I can that. Right. The exchange is for the different. good. Right. Yeah, I know that uh, it's so going back to that original point was when I was taught very very little about money. So then it was kind of like a money is the root of all evil mm. thing. You know, that's what people were taught. At least that's what I was taught. Oh, yeah, kinda. Oh, yeah. And that's like a that's the thing that goes around in the world, but it doesn't have to be that way. Doesn't. It doesn't. It, it, I don't think it's inherently bad or good. It's just it is what it is. Uh, it sucks that people do bad with it, you know. So that, you know, right, well, normally you follow the money, you can follow, find the problems, but it doesn't have to be that way. For instance, going to uh, Versace or Gucci, what is what would you say is their wh- who are they targeting? Like, do they have a meaning behind it? Do you know it? I'm, I w- I don't know. My point sure. exactly. What would you say is the meaning behind Care's None brand? be dope right Th- so that i think that that's why it, it's going to work really actually i know it's going to work but why i think i i personally enjoyed that because if someone buys that it's still it's almost like an investment mentally to get you you know to get your shit like i i i approve this message yeah whereas if you're buying gucci you're literally buying it for fashion mm-hmm. just to look good right you see what I'm saying? And, but it also depends on who's buying it. So as a as a person who I can say, okay, I can understand a person, a wealthy person buying Gucci and all this other shit because it's more so they look at it differently. They look at it as like, this is a plush luxury item. You know, this is kind of like classy, blah, 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 comes with all that. But when you're a full on consumer and your whole paycheck is dependent on this and it's just a fashion, the look of it, that's a whole different ball game because you're not getting anything like fruitful out of the exchange right, you right, know what i mean you're right. not it's not appreciating with value no you know what i mean a lot of times these people buy i don't know what the big ass expensive watches are but i don't even know if a mavada is one but let's say but like um, yeah, a yeah but they, or some they, shit. they yeah. invest in that stuff this they got like i don't want to say stocks but it's something like with an investment like people when they buy fine jewelry fine things it's it's more so of an investment in something that's going to appreciate Right, like they, it, it they don't even just, just keep that cold, shit. Yeah, right, it ain't right. just to look fly on the fucking gram and all that stuff. It's not for that. Matter of fact, I was looking at something with Rick Ross uh, a couple weeks ago, and he was talking about he had like twenty cars or something like that, right? And they're like, "Why the fuck you got? Why you need twenty cars?" But he's like, "What y'all don't realize is people pay me to shoot videos and or whatever to mm. to be in front of these motherfuckers. So this is an investment." So when you thinking like think, that, yeah, I, I've never even thought about that. Yeah, like he's getting twenty racks just for somebody who want to be in the video with the fucking car. You know what I mean? So it's an investment. They, they it's just a different type of thought rather than just being a consumer. Yeah, so it, you know, and I'm starting to understand. I'm starting to get my mind around those thoughts too. Like for instance, I could essentially rent out this space. Yeah, I could rent out like, and now instead of just so now um, people know I I make all of the all of my merchandise here. Hey. I press and everything myself, but I could now custom for someone else yep someone else wants to make their brand like mm-hmm. you can come guess who you can come to me right you know um it's a good it's, idea actually i should probably look into that making uh yeah, it's a people, side yeah. hustle so it's just a, I, I just never was taught that shit until going online and talking to steve and then and conversations with you and people who like that and i'm just i'm more around it now but if you're never around that kind of talk how are you supposed to win yeah, i know i know man. if you don't even it's know that and that's where the education comes in it's like if we don't we don't even fucking know yeah <laughs> Or like like losing weight, right? <laughs> People just say, you know, put the food down. It's like that. Essentially, that is true, right? Essentially, That's the most basic answer, yeah. But that ain't explaining it to that ain't knowledge. That ain't education. You know, you gotta tell them why calories and calories in versus out. Why the right. deficit, you know, you gotta teach right. motherfuckers the truth, right? Or like you know, me, I like to talk to dudes about uh, you know and how to be m- better with women, be right. more successful. But you can't just say just be cool or just be dope. You gotta you chill, to, nigga. You know what I'm saying? You gotta, you have to like help them understand. At least that's how I was. Yeah. I hated that my grandmother was hella, you know, it's my way or the highway. Now, I get it. It was our career, and I, I get that. So, under her roof, I'm gonna follow her rules. But, like, I was always like, why? Yeah. Why? I always questioned why. And that's also uh, people of a certain age as well. That's kind of how they, their parents put the hammer down on them like that. Like, I talk to my grandmother all the time, and, and well, luckily, she's kind of more open about it, but. 
I understand. Like she was raised by a motherfucker who didn't know shit. That's why he was telling her that's, to shut that, the fuck up. That's that's what I'm saying. Right, right, right. I'm totally. I I'm not judging no one for not knowing. It's just like I now want to be the pivot. Right. That I'm gonna start, you know, giving out whatever I fucking know. Yeah, it's because it's like you always say, man. There's enough for everybody out here, and we are so under involved. It's just, it's just people in general. Because you realize, like, if we're just talking finances and stuff, that's still a very small percentage of people who own most of the money. There's so many goddamn dollars out here in this world, right? And we just don't know how to access it. We're taught to do a nine to five, work hard. That's the biggest fucking. Crock of shit in the world. Work hard. <laughs> so stupid. That is stupid. That's the dumbest stuff we've ever been fed. <laughs> yeah. You're supposed to work smart. People who have it out here, they aren't smarter than you. They aren't better than you. They didn't do anything. They just they just work smarter. Yeah, or they they're actually their ancestors probably kind of inherited that smartness or that they just kind of set them. them up and shit. Yeah. But a lot of times we're just talking work hard, work hard, and you can t- achieve anything. Bullshit. Niggas flipping burgers at McDonald's, working hard as fuck, and they still ain't gonna get shit because they're gonna be consumers mm, at right, the end of the day. Right. Yeah, you have to understand like like where the pivots are is yeah. what it comes down to. Yeah, and not even just McDonald's, just like regular, even middle class workers and stuff like that. A lot of times we'd be broke as shit, just trying to maintain and stay afloat. We don't, but our, our concept about money is so different. Um, and we can it, it can be improved. It can be improved. And we, uh, and I know I've definitely fallen for this most of my life, is just living outside our means. Mm-hmm. I know mm-hmm. I I fucking did that. Just so we're taught, you know what I'm saying? We taught that though. We definitely taught that. He's like, oh, you know, because it's, they they say it make you feel better if you get this this dope watch or these dope shoes, you are gonna feel better. And I'm I'm here to, to tell that. you, motherfuckers, I ain't gonna lie. You get some fresh J's, you put them on, you feel good when you first put them on for like a split second. Yeah, I ain't gonna stunt and act like you know I got on some fresh J's, but that goes away very fast. Right, very fast. And I could argue that initial feeling is that a true happiness, or you are you saying, "Damn, I look fly in these," or are you saying, "Damn, niggas gonna see me killing it in these." You see mm-hmm. the difference? So, are you doing it for you, or are you doing it for yourself? Right now, there's a fine line. Only only the person knows. Uh, and as a, as a person who doesn't preach materialism, who sells material now, mm-hmm. <laughs> so there's something that I still battle with. For sure. Um. But there is uh, the reason why I can still sleep at night is because there is a, a real message that's that's really behind it. Right. You know, and it's actually helping me stay afloat and making it all all of it, all of the I would argue free value that I've given out for three, four years. Mm. So it's like people supporting me by, do, you know, what I'm saying yeah, so yeah, you can yeah. keep the shit going. But uh, I'm never going to personally sell anything more than what is the standard business model to, to stay afloat. Right. You know, I'm not trying to rip nobody off. Exactly, and, no and like I think that. that's a lot of times, unfortunately, that's a lot of times what happens because let's say you buy some Jordans, right? The thing is, we're so detached from Michael Jordan, <clears throat> there's no exchange, like real exchange there. What is Jordan giving you besides his shoe? Right. Not saying don't buy Jordans if you don't want it and all that stuff, but I'm just saying like, okay, if a person buys a product, they're getting something in exchange for you. They're getting value like, from Chris. Right. You know what I mean? What value did Jordan like? You just made Jordan a billionaire, but what did you get from that after the shoe is That's stuffed? Right. After the shoe is nothing. I, he, and, and I guess know? a little bit of keeping up with the Joneses, which I personally think is dumb. Mm-hmm. Um, which sucks because I I really have to, I I I push my merchandise, which feels kind of like keeping up with the Joneses. But there's really is again, there's a, a true, there's a true thing behind it, man, and it really is to be dope. Mm-hmm. You know, and there's a lot of brands out there, that I, and I follow a lot of right. them now, trying to grow mine. Or of course, do and I, I, you know, I, I, I'm sorry to cut you off, but I don't want to say like, okay, just because you're a wealthy ass brand, like you don't give a shit. A lot of times, it's us too. It's how we look at it. Like what our value in it is fucked up sometimes because we're trying to keep up with the Joneses. Like we're buying shit for the wrong reasons. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And that's that's kind of a part of it too. Now, if you got it and and you really like the message behind Nike or whatever they're saying. Yeah, I, like, I was about to bring up Nike. Absolutely. And Nike has one of the best uh, If not slogans, the best. If not the best. And if you if you have it and you can support that and you really, you know, rock with that theme and you want to support that, absolutely. But if it's if it's a lot of times we're just doing it for the show. Right. And and most most people out here just doing that shit for the show, and it's not like your exchange really isn't that. It isn't where it could be. It's just a consumer. Yeah, and if you happy, go be it. But I I would just argue that if and behind closed doors, it's just you 
thinking and I can read your brain, are you happy? My my thought would be probably not. Yeah. Not as much as you could be mm-hmm. if, if if materialism is, is what's keeping you ticking. Yeah, it's interesting when you talk to people about like uh those things when they are materialistic. I know. It's man. interesting like trying to get into the psychology because it's, a lot of times it's for the gram or it's for another person, it's for that. And you were not we're not saying don't look good and don't feel good, but there's other ways to value yourself besides buying this expensive ass thing that you really don't really you're not you're not appreciating it in the in in the way that it could be. Right. You know what I mean? Well, here, and here's another, here's another thought. How much shit is fakeable, which kind of goes to the other the that's, other point ooh, we were just saying. Ooh, that's a big one. About how you can. That's a big one. You can do a, you can do a lot of things or perceive things. I did not know that this is a thing. Tell me if you've heard this. I just heard this last night. They got rooms, okay? Rooms that you can rent out that are private jets on the inside. And you could be like, you can take a picture as if you're on a private jet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can rent it. I, I'm like, whoa, yeah. that's a thing? Yeah, I can imagine. I can, I can imagine that. It, it makes sense. It would make a lot of money. Yeah. Because people, Cause cause people and, and you're hitting at that, up. right? <laughs> Isn't that fucked up? You could... But that's definitely like if you had enough money to set up this room and make it look like people will pay to take a picture in it. Yeah. yeah. And listen, I'm not judging because I was the person. Did I ever tell you this story? I, I got a bottle of uh, Crystal for my birthday. Crystal. Steve bought me a bottle of Crystal. Happy and birthday coming up, by the way. Yeah, February 2nd. Hey. Aquarius in this bitch. Um, so I remember thinking, man, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get a, a, a wine corker. <laughs> and I was just going to. I was going to drink the wine, fill it up with cheap wine, mm. cork it so then I can yeah. a fresh pop every time. So they'd be like, damn, this nigga's popping Crystal every night. <laughs> I remember thinking that at one point. And I was like, that's a brilliant. I remember thinking that's a brilliant idea. I was really in that world. Yeah. You know what deep. I'm saying? I was deep <laughs> in that shit. Oh, man. Damn. I t- and I told you about the fake J's and shit. Like, yeah. You know, yeah. Oh, man. We all got to hustle, man. So. Uh, and it's just funny. Be, and here's the problem. I don't think it's a problem to buy the fake J's. I think it's a problem to buy the fake J's if you're trying to stunt like they're not fake. Right. Because I could argue now when when I really think about it, if I'm wearing fake Jordans and, and you wearing the, the real ones, that look identical. I paid fifty bucks and you paid six hundred. Who's the idiot? Mm. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now maybe the enthusiast fucking dude who could look at your shoe and be like, "Up oh, this line," you know. But I'm telling you right now, you can't do that mm-hmm. to the naked eye. You can't tell most most of the fakes. And and I and I got a couple. You know what I'm saying? I got about half my Jordans were replicas and the other half were authentic from the store. And I'm telling you, some of those shoes that I bought fake versus the, are, were in better shape mm. than the authentic ones. Mm. I think they're literally coming from the same place in China, like the same building. Well, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be surprised. So, I wouldn't be surprised. But I remember thinking like, man, if somebody ever called me out, I'm going to have to fight. <laughs> <laughs> like, you can't you know, just call out my fake jersey. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But like, I, I now no longer, I got a pair of uh, Louboutins, Louboutins that cost me, uh, what, Fake batons, but they, they, you know, there's red bottoms. You couldn't tell. Yeah. They cost me 150, but, you know, they go for five stacks, quote unquote. Oh, yeah. But who's the idiot? You spent your whole, wait, 5,000. A lot of motherfuckers ain't get, some of these cats run around in Gucci belts, like, okay. Right. You, you either flipping or you spent four, five good checks. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? On a $5,000 bag. That's, that's my thing. If you got it, I get yeah, it. Yeah, ball out. I get it. But I'm talking to the average person who's just out here, really, your whole paycheck is going towards that belt. Now, let me ask you this. Would you ever buy a house that was like, say you're LeBron James. LeBron James. Okay, so you're, you're about to be a billionaire. Would you buy a $30 million house? Yeah, I could. Of course. Why? I mean, because thirty million is like ten thousand, probably to him. But my point is, but but you know how big that would be, though, right? It ain't about the money; it's about what it represents. So me and Steve talk about this all the time. Okay. And I just want your opinion on it. When you're buying a house that dumb, and I'm talking about like big, lavish, you know, forty-two bedroom, one of those, and mind you, you have Uh, a a Mike Tyson. uh, You know what I'm saying? Mind you, you have a six-person family. (laughs) <laughs> Four kids and his parents, right? Let's just, and then maybe your grandma, a couple rooms for guests. Why do you need 32 rooms? I think that would be an investment. So I, I can give you that. And I think most of those I'll give people you that. use those things as investments, too. 
I'll I give think you that. I think that's the case. I think motherfuckers are using those things a lot. They renting it out, hosting stuff. Yeah, so it's a gotta, lot of so it's be when more you buy something that. like that, it's 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 an investment. Yeah, because I'm like, oh, so which makes sense. For, so for instance, uh, you ever heard of Dan Bozarian? No, I can't. Say He's that like either. the modern day Hugh Hefner. Okay. Anyways, he bought this big dumbass crib. It's probably fake or not, but he throws a lot of these lavish parties in there. He's probably charging people to come. Yeah. So now that's a good point. Why motherfuckers would buy a lot of that fake shit? Mm-hmm. People with money, they it, it, they understand this exchange shit. It's like it's a it's an investment. Everything is an investment with them. That's why when I talk when we talk, I'm like, hey, when we we, we even talking about starting a business and stuff like that, it's like what what can we do to invest? Mm-hmm. Everything we try to get, we try to make it an investment as much as possible. As much as possible. As much as possible. Yeah, it's all about investment, man. That's the exchange that I'm. I would wish for more people to get into, rather than being a consumer as an exchange. Or and sometimes the investment is like, for instance, like for me, let's use me as an example. I'll buy some sh- some shirts and make a shirt that costs money that I'm wearing, but I'm also going to be wearing them mm-hmm. and showing. So that's an investment. It might not right. It might not be. You might not be getting anything specifically from that, but you're getting the advertisement of it, so that goes into, you know? Right, and that's what I mean. It's not about literally getting it, putting your money into a stock account necessarily, although that you, you, you could you right. should get involved. But it, it, that's the, it's, it's a way of thinking about an exchange. An exchange is you can be a consumer, you can be an investor. It, it's just kind of a different way of looking at it. And I know we're taught a lot to just be consuming, consuming, consuming. Yeah, fuck that. I'm, I'm done, man. I'm done... One, I'm just done. I want more freedom. And unfortunately, mm. you know what does that is financing. Mm-hmm. I don't want to be, I don't want a feeling of like, oh, I can't or I can't do this. You know, I want, I want to be able to make decisions when I want to make them. I'm trying to tell you, boy. And when you, and when you work for yourself, th- then you have, mo- you know what I'm saying? I just, I, I don't know if I can, this year has taught me that very valuable lesson. So you remember before the pandemic started, how much I hated my job. Absolutely hated it. Hated everything about it. And I was making by far, by Killing far it. the most money I've ever made there. Killing it. But w- y- be honest, wasn't I miserable? You were. <laughs> it was really bad. Down to the very last day. You yeah. Were miserable. So I was so fucking miserable. You didn't want to go in. You're like, man, I got to go in. I got to. <laughs> right. Like, so check this out. So when I finally, once I realized, you know what? And I had already been talking about, I got, I'm going to get the fuck out of here. Let me just save up some, some dough. Da, 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 da. I was already like, Counting my days, you know what I'm saying? And then I, then I was forced because of the pandemic. And then realizing how much it feels, how much I, I, I felt better to not have that extra stress from this place, you know? Mm. And I'm not saying all jobs are like that. This place had a specific couple of people who made it tough. Um, but just working with someone else in general is going to come with those stresses, you of know? Course, of and course. especially when they don't, it's like, I understand where a motherfucker, so we had this, this owner dude who would cuss your ass out. Right. And I'm 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 from the corporate world where you can't just do that. Right. And this place was not this is mine posh shop. You can't talk crazy. And I'm like, dude, mm. I'll beat your ass. Right. Like, you know, like, <laughs> like, who are you talking to like that? Right. I get you. You know, like, I, I just don't understand. And I think we might have talked about this on here, but I'm like, I, I realized throughout the pandemic, I'm like, I can't. I need the it's the, the, the time is now. It is, you it's know, our time, especially man. for the people who've been we've been building. Mm-hmm. Even if you haven't been building, just start the building time today. Is still now, the time is still now. Yeah. It's like, man, you know, I just, I just, I value. Um, I was talking to this one person, and she goes, "My parents, you know, they're super, you know, they, they don't believe in following your dreams and this. They believe in how much money did you? They live that whole, you know." And I just felt like, damn, you know, that sucks, because to me, if your whole drive is you're only successful if you're making a certain dollar amount. I just can't, even when you make the dollar amount, I don't see how you're going to be successful. Right. Mentally. Yeah. Like how that, you know, because how many, how many rich ass niggas is about to jump uh, off a roof right now or, or did yeah, or did already. Yeah. You ever heard about the story about the dude from uh, Victoria's Secret? Mm-mm. Check this story out. Okay. This is crazy. So this dude back in the day, I don't know the days exactly, but back in the day, he wanted to buy his wife some, like, nice lingerie, you know. He, but he didn't want to go to all these other stores and look creepy, right? Because he got his, uh, you got any lingerie? You look like a creepy fucking <laughs> asshole. <laughs> so he decided to, uh, he goes, you know what? We need, we need a, like, a safe, we need a place where you can go and not feel like a creep, you know. And it's nice. It's, you know, and then 
he came up with Victoria's Secret. Mm-hmm. And it was it was popping. It was a great idea, right? Ended up selling the business to somebody. Kept they kept the Victoria's Secret's name. And he made like a lot of money. Then the very next year, that same business blew up, blew up. Like a lot of money. Yeah. He killed himself. Mm. Kill yourself. Because he felt like he was for real, real talk. He yeah. he literally I didn't know that. Thought he could have. He's like, damn, I did it a little. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. He was he was doing good. It obviously, whole life. You know what I'm saying? Or I was saying he made a lot of money off of the sale of his business. You sold it to a company that obviously grew it up, and then he just felt like he failed. And it's just like you know, that that that's how I know it can't be just about the money, right? I ain't saying don't get again. Going back to what we said in the beginning, you gotta include it and think about it differently. But I don't look at it as the root no more, and it can't be the only thing. Mm-mm. And because I really believe that when you just put the passion in something that you truly believe in, the universe gonna find a way of of like taking care of you if if you're genuine about it, mm-hmm. you know. And then something will come up, you might not even know what it is. Like I, I'm telling you, as far as like this merchandising, I never in a million years thought about that. Not even that was never even, even my thought. But what I did was stay true to what the conglomerate was of cares none. Like I, I'm gonna just keep. Keep fucking throwing shit on the wall, see what sticks. But I believe in the concept, right? And then finally, something. And you just takes. been developing and developing it, and then, and then, yeah, and, 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 and that, that just comes and makes sense. And it's like, damn, this shit really taking off because it makes sense. And the investment was there. The investment. The investment. The there. investment was there. And, and and it took time. And look, and sometimes you don't. Here's nothing. You don't see the fruits of your labor right away. No. <laughs> you know, I think niggas think you know, and no. I get it because you don't you don't see them results quick. But that's that money shit. I think we want that quick. That quick because why are you doing it? Right. You know what I mean? And that, that's the thing. Trust man. We, the process. Trust though. the process. You got to trust the process. Yes. But uh yeah. I think we try to when we do try to rush it, it's probably because it's for money. You need shit to kind of happen right away rather than trying to build something. I think building something is the funnest shit of all time. Just just here, there, tinkering and because it's yours, it's it's a it's a beautiful growth, you know what I mean? And it's going to take fucking time, but you're in it for a different reason. It's an investment. Mm. It's not for somebody to just get this shit. Right. Right now, I just need to come up. It's not a come up. It's not a, cons- you're not yeah. trying to get I people to I feel like you definitely can't it. look at it as the come up. That's the yeah, come up. You get, you, you're getting people to believe in your brand. You're not trying but, to get people but, to but, consume but it. But mind you, the brand was being built for years. Of course. For like probably 12 years, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's a, but it's you, like. That's that, why it's so beautiful. That's what I enjoyed about you. Uh, I remember we went on a couple of wing reviews, maybe three ago, and I was just, I was just kind of shocked. Remember how I was like, "Damn, like this shit's blowing up," mm-hmm. you know? And um, I remember you was like, "Well, the reason, you know, is it's because niggas is fucking with you. Like, it, it don't matter what the logo looks like. It don't matter all that shit. They fucking with the fact that you're the one. You got your name behind it, you know? You're right. And it made me just, it made me feel good because like, like. People can't, and you know, they it came correct too. Super, Super and uh, and same thing with your shit. Like when, and now when you put when you put pretty cool ace on something, you gonna know that it's it's coming with it's gonna come correct. Right. That's what I. My whole thing is in life, man. If you gonna do something, ha. do it right. Yeah, my grandmother taught me that, man. Don't okay. half ass it, right? All right. And you're the same way, man. Like I don't like I can't be and actually learn some shit from you uh, with the with the websites. Sometimes you you gotta spend a little extra to do it right. Sometimes you gotta you know. Yeah, this your everything you do is your baby, you know you and, and it's your you can take your time with it too because you're, it's an investment. Investments take time, and that's what we gotta we gotta realize. Like this shit takes a lifetime. This shit ain't just some fast, um, fast cash type of shit. Everything you do can be an investment. Just oh my god, I wish I could really emphasize that with people. It, it, it's like a life mind changing thing if you think about everything as an investment. You take your time with stuff that you invest in. When you consume something, you eat that shit real quick. Right. It's not an investment, you know. When you cook something, it's an you taking your time with it. Right, 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 right. But when you eat it, you consuming it, you down in that shit. Right. You know. So if we can just get our minds to really focus and think about investing rather than just being consumers all the time with every single thing of life. Like literally everything. Everything, and I'm not right. I'm not just talking about even money. Just ex- ex- exchange. This is a concept about exchange. So, yeah. Well, let's hit up the pod decks. All right. Let's do it. I want to get back into these with you. If I get somebody else on, then whatever. But me, you, and Matt, I want to get these going. All right. So, I'm going to pull a card. 
And uh, no, I'll just pull them with both hands. Just. All right, you ready? Ooh. So who are your heroes in real life? My mama. Explain. Um, uh, she, she kind of she made me understand. I just, I mean, I'm, I'm, I try to be her twin as much as I can, but she just try to. She makes me understand how much you can do yourself. Mm. Which kind of goes to what we've been talking about. Yeah, a little it's bit. kind right, of the right. whole synopsis of the podcast. Right, right, today. right. right, right. <laughs> um, my mama just, she just, she's, she's such a, she's just witty. Just go with whatever you want to do. Like she got her own t-shirt business now, insurance business, tax business. Uh, fucking, she's a barber, she's a photographer, like anything you want to do. <laughs> she's you, a boss. You can literally just do whatever you want to do, but it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have everything. Doesn't have to be corporate status. But you can do a lot of stuff that you want to do. And you can find your audiences, too. You can invest in different things. So she just taught me to be versatile. I love being versatile. That's the reason why I even think the way I think about investments. So I'll give you an example. I do music. I make videos. I do photography. I'm doing podcasts with you. I do podcasts or whatnot with Amanda. Um, um, and a whole you slew of videography, uh, video, now? right? Videography, a, a lot of different things, but I, I try to think about it as far as like getting residual money, but it's the thing like you can spread yourself, mm -hmm. you can spread yourself and do everything you want to do in this life and appreciate that. Yeah, so you have like a conglomerate of shit. That's a conglomeration of stuff. Yeah. But we're, we, a lot of times we're taught to just no one thing and no one thing solidly. Yeah. No, nah, just, it's, you're a human, man. This shit's supposed to be everywhere. Who Use else? This shit. Um, as I get older, I realize it's just her. I used to think about like you know you want you know you talk celebrities and shit like that. Now nah, it's literally a grounded person like that for me. Yeah, I was like we talked about this a couple of podcasts ago when my grandmother told me when I was younger. But if you think you can't say you can, mm. um, yeah, I remember that. So that's cause that literally has sh shaped me to who I am today. You know, because mm. you you'll be. And when's the last time you heard me say I can't do some shit? Have you ever even heard me say that? No. And if so, it doesn't. I don't say it very often. Right. And then if I do, then I gotta get out of that. Fuck, I can't. And that's all her. You know, that's such that's a huge. Uh, but, but there's a couple cats, man. There's a couple cats. Uh, I'm gonna give myself a little credit. I'm gonna give myself credit on being my own hero because uh, at the end of the day, I like that. We have to make the decisions. People can. Tell you till you blue in the face what you should and should not do, and until you fucking either do it or do not do it, you know shit ain't gonna get done. You know what I'm saying? So I I, I give myself a little credit for for having the balls to try things and and going past. You know, like people gonna think I'm stupid. Am I looking ridiculous? But you know, it don't matter because I know what it takes. So I I give myself a little love for that. So, uh, Steve, Steve O. Whoo, that's my nigga. I think everyone who listens to this knows that. <laughs> he's, such a he's such a legend. Uh, he's just, I'm telling you, bro, he's, uh, whenever I have any big decisions, I try to hit a couple of y'all up, but I always go to him for any, because I just know he's going to come, he's going to kick it to me real. He's not a yes man. That's my favorite. Can't have yes men. And then, uh, and he's always super encouraging. Now don't give that doesn't mean that you not or Mike ain't because we all I wouldn't be around the one who's not. But he's just been that way for awesome. twenty years. Right. <laughs> you know, like no, he uh, never looked at me like I was a fool for one that tried some shit. You know, he's like, no, nah, hell yeah, let's do it, hell, my nigga. That's that's you such a that, huge man. resource. That's a that's a, that's a benefit resource. in life to have motherfuckers who who fucking encourage you to go after what you want to. You know, and there's a lot of people that encourage you not to do that. Mm -hmm. You know, some, some people's parents say, well, no, nah, don't fuck your dreams. You got to get a job. You gotta, it's like, man, but then I'm going to fucking live this, you know? Yeah. And so to have that, um, as far as celebrities, you know, I, I like the, the Kanye's. Uh, and not as not my heroes, but just people who st stand out. Mm -hmm. The Kanye's. Uh, I like, uh, I know this is going to sound crazy, but the same reason I like Kanye is why I kind of fuck with Trump in this sense. Not of who he is or what he stands for, but with the fact that he's going to do what he wants. Mm -hmm. I might not agree with it. I think he, he the concept, you know, the concept of doing what you want. Right. Trump does that. He definitely to the very end. You know, he if will somebody do what the fuck cares he wants. none, it's fucking <laughs> Trump, right? God damn, yeah, you don't give a fuck. <laughs> he threw the t-shirt. Would you put him on? on yeah, your uh, see, I, I actually was talking. Uh, I was talking <laughs> to Steve. Like, see, and that's another thing going about like selling out for um for paper. Yeah. 
like if someone goes, hey, right now, Trump will wear your shit. That he'll he'll rock your you know your brand, which clearly would sell me a lot of shit mm-hmm. from his base. But is that what I want? Right. You know. And me and Steve talked about this, and, and he was like, you know, it's it's easier said than done when that decision's there in your face, and you sign this paper, and you're about to get forty million dollars, but Trump's got to wear it, you know. Yeah. And I'm sure that's why a lot of niggas doing it. Um, I, and here's the reason why this got brought up. He, I did a, a, a one time release for the Valentine's Day. You saw that? Yeah. And I only sold five, and five got sold. Plus. But he was asking. He was saying, well, what if, what if somebody comes in and is like, man, we need ten of those. He goes, or like, how about this? Let's make it. Let's make it real. Let's let's say somebody goes. I need a hundred of those Valentine's Day hoodie. You gonna do it? And I was like, look, man, I'm not gonna say anything, but I strongly believe in my heart that I believe the business model is scarcity. That's what Supremes did, mm-hmm. the big brand Supreme, right? They don't. They stick to those guns, and that cl- that causes a um, like a uh, a demand for it, right? So I would not sell out to sell those because I'm like, no, because the whole idea is to keep it exclusive. For the five people who decided they wanted to go through it, you have five of the only ones that will ever get made. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But if I was just to go sell five more, I think that d- that diminishes right. what the whole point is, and I kind of took advantage of those first kids. Exactly. And I think it's that integrity that I, I truly believe, because listen, at the end of the day, do I want to make money off of it? Absolutely. That's why you start a business. But... I don't want to make enough money where I'm, my integrity is getting shot. Yeah, exactly. And that's a fine line because, like you said, when people are in your face with it, what do you do? You know, and I just, so I, I know personally, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do my damnest now. I got to survive, but also, like, I don't know if I would want Trump wearing the shit, man, which is fucked up because, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's funny because I used to get on my, I used to get on Josh because he worked at the Trump's house. Oh, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> and I, I was like, bro, I, I, I. Mm. <laughs> He's like, no, but it's a, it's a. I remember he was saying that. Yeah. I was like, nah, bro, you, you have Trump Towers. Don't give me that. <laughs> All, right. All right, let's get the next one. What will people look back at us fifty years from now and be shocked and appalled by? <laughs> this is a great question. I read it again. What will people look back at us fifty years from now and be shocked and appalled by? As a like, as a just people in general. Or what will people look back at us 50 years from now and be shocked and appalled by? Oh, man, I feel like I was just thinking about this the other day. Probably elected Trump shit. <laughs> oh, well, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, you motherfuckers elected y'all a goddamn... Did y'all did what? <laughs> y- 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 elected a celebrity? For real? Yeah, that's got to be... <laughs> There's got to be one up there, right? <laughs> that's got to be up there. That's definitely going to happen. Um, probably like why y'all didn't get to the cl- like clean energy way soon. Yeah, the clean energy shit is stupid. That that should have been happened already. I think should have been happening because the technology's there. Yeah, it's there, and a lot of this like brick and mortar shit that we still commit to work. Work mm-hmm. is gonna be something that's gonna be like I don't know how it's gonna look, but it's gonna be work is just gonna be different, and it's probably not gonna be as much, um, or as as physical. I should say. Like, damn, why y'all really have to do that type of thing? You think about work. Work has been getting less and less physical throughout throughout. Right, centuries. right, 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 right. But we had to go and fucking actually go in there. And, yeah. yeah, like. I was, the technology just made it even easier. Right? Exactly. Like, I'm, I was just talking to my uncle. He He's still in the fucking, uh, uh, basically a sweatshop, breaking down cars and shit in the junkyard and all this stuff. Oily, <laughs> greasy, <laughs> stanking. a sweatshop. <laughs> Nigga, a slave. Basically a slave. <laughs> yes, sir, boss. He be talking, <laughs> like, he be talking like that, too. So, yeah, I think shit will just get less or less physical over time, and we'll be looking back like, damn, y'all niggas was really busting y'all ass. Yeah, fuck that. Yeah. Fuck that. People always busting their ass. If you could undo one moment in your life, what would it be? I love these questions. Undo one moment in my life. If you got something. Yeah, I do. Um, And I believe this. Nothing. Okay. And the reason why, because... I like that butterfly effect shit. Mm. How do you know that whatever didn't happen didn't lead you to who you are today? So I've I've been really weird. And don't get me wrong. There's decisions that I, I at the time I'd have been like, damn, I wish I would have done this. Mm-hmm. But then would I have l- been who I am today without those shitty experiences? Right. Again, I believe in the shit makes you better. Right. It makes you stronger. It gets that callous. So you know what? I don't think I change anything because I kind of love where the fuck I am today. Yeah. You know, if, sure, if I'm being sure. honest. No, I like that. I like Because I like the, I'm, I really believe in the shit, man. The shit, pressure turns cold in the diamonds. I really believe in that. 
think about all the shitty moments in your life, all of them, every single one of them, and you were like, oh, no, like, this is, this is over, and then you're here yeah. today. Yeah, that's what I was kind of going to say. Like, it, there's nothing so detrimental to where if I didn't, if I fucked it up before, I, I can always redeem it right now. Right. Or I can just be better. And, you know, so I don't, I, I'm, I'm, I'm agreeing with you. Yeah, that. you know? Yeah, I agree. I with don't, you. I ain't trying to regret shit because I, it, 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 you can yeah. just, all right. And I, yeah, just as I get older, I realize just if you didn't do something right, just fix it or just work on it and get better. Just be better than you were yeah, before. Even when you fuck, you're alive. Right. Even when you fuck up or there's an issue, you still, there's still huge knowledge in that. Yeah. That, that's actually very valuable when you fuck up. Mm-hmm. Super valuable. Especially if you have the wherewithal to, like, oh, okay, can't do that. I love, I love, I would say this, but not, <laughs> I love fucking up. Because I, I know I can kind of improve on it. No, that's what I'm saying. Absolutely. Yeah, I love fucking up. They're like, oh, okay, all right, cool. You know, I don't even get frustrated at fucking up. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. It's, I, it's just a process. The only time I get a little fucked up is if, if it's someone else's shit. You know, because yeah, I don't yeah, want to fuck get, someone else. I get else's. bad about that. Yeah. Like I, I had a little anxiety about when we did uh, Josh's thing because I didn't want to fuck up his moment. Right. Like with I our moment, you. I don't feel as bad. But someone else, I'm like, I, I want to make it smooth for them. True, you know. True. So I. If it's someone else, I don't want to fuck it That's up. That's true. But my own shit is like, yeah. What ooh. ooh. What book belongs on everyone's shelf? Ooh, I used to have a book. You're not gonna say the Holy Bible? Hell no. What about the Quran? <laughs> nah. <laughs> <laughs> uh what book should be on everyone's shit? Yeah, there's so many good books, right? That's a fucking hard yeah, one. Yeah, that's a, that's a that's lot, a hard there's a lot of wisdom out here in this world. <laughs> I know, and it's like all of, all of it in books. Yeah, there's a lot of good wisdom out here. Uh, I know a good book was How to Win Friends and Influence People. That was good. I read that. Mm-hmm. Uh, I read a book on, the, uh, believe it or not, and it, you know, it was Body Language for Dummies. Mm. Understanding that we most of what we say is through body language and not actual spoken word. Right. Of course, yeah. yeah I yeah. think I don't I don't remember the Man. exact number, but it was something like the overwhelming majority of the shit we say is through body language and not words. It's like oh, 80%. Words is something that's invented, man. We had we had this body way before we had words. Right? And I, I feel like so that like and once you learn, once you learn it's like, "Oh, okay." Cuz then you can improve all of your, you know, you can improve all of your engagements whether Absolutely. you be with a girl or at work Engagement. or you know, or a, or a uh, I like interview. That. I like that. You know, so I don't know. I just yeah. I mean, I read. I've read a lot of good books, but I don't know. It's something that's just yeah. I don't, I don't know if anything that's just that sticking out. Be, it has to be. I know you were on the thing about you stopped fucking with books for a while, right? Yeah, I had to stop for a little bit because <laughs> I just you don't hear that that often. Yeah, because I just felt like it was it was a certain type of information that was being received. And you figure the people who are going to write a book are going to be a certain. They're going to have come from a certain background, certain type of education. And at that point in my life, I was just like. I need education that's just grounded based. Like, you know, like sometimes sometimes people who are studious really are focused on one thing and one thing only in life. You know? Like, let's say somebody a Harvard graduate, I won't get too deep into it, but we like to respect a lot of people who can get into like private universities, big ass Harvard type of shit. But a lot of times, if you haven't noticed, a lot of people who run politics, they've been to these places, they go to these schools, and they are dumb as shit. When right. it comes to just realizing basic right. human shit that's going on in the world. Right. So at that point, I was just like, I need some knowledge that's just from people. It doesn't need to be this highly educated motherfucker who can afford to go to a publishing house to get something printed and do all this stuff. Like, I just wanted knowledge from something else. That's all. No, I can dig that. I can dig that. Uh, I, I, like, I like the free-form conversations. I feel like I can get more from, like, a motherfucker, like a podcast. Mm-hmm. I can get more from, like, a, an interview with a motherfucker. Um to get it from the person as opposed to the book. Uh, you, oh, you know who actually has a good book? Kevin Hart's. Uh, he's, uh, both of his books. Uh, get the audio book because he reads I'll start it. I'll uh, get the audio book. Yeah. Because he's the one who reads it. And he, so he, he it's and it's funny because it's him because he's yeah, silly. Yeah. Probably, but it's also good. Cause I think it's called The Blueprint. Uh, something like, I think it's called The Blueprint. Anyways, it's one. he has two books. And both of them, for anyone who's trying to create or start from scratch on something, mm-hmm. inspirational like a motherfucker, yeah. you know? And you know, he's he's like, I'm, he's like, and his whole thing is, hey, I'm telling y'all what I did, these, this is what you got to do. You got to beat this. You got to beat that. You got to beat this. And boom, you get it. And who's better to look at someone who's done it? Right. You know? So, like, I, I, I got some great fucking knowledge from this. That's dope. Yeah, I just, uh, what, what book I'm reading right now is called 
Planet of the Apes, American Myth, and it's a play on race, politics, and popular culture. That's probably, you know, you probably, that's probably right up your alley. Oh, it's right up my alley because <laughs> it, it shows you through uh, image. We we are projected with so much image, especially through film and whatnot. But, like, what messages are the things that we're watching really portraying? Mm. And, it, man, it, it, it gets deep, but that's a pretty good read that I'm reading right now. And that's kind of a little bit like uh – yeah, like the like the like that's a lot of the the hate comes from is the TV. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it's it's, it's always general. messaging, but it's like and it's subliminal sometimes. It's subliminal, but a lot of times it's so cool because producers don't even realize the shit. Like their influence, everything. Like we like to a lot of times think like popular culture is influencing us, but we're influenced by or we're influenced by pop culture and shit like that. But actually, it's influenced by like what's going on at the time. Right. You know what I mean? So, like, it, anything you watch is just about what's going on at the time. You can peel back so many layers with shit. So, yeah. Yeah, that's a, that sounds like a good book. See, this this is what is your biggest regret, but I think we kind of already yeah, answered kinda. that the last time, man. If you had to teach a class on – nope, I did that last time. Ooh, this is interesting. Which living person do you most despise? <laughs> Ah, damn, they got to be living. Who do I most despise right now? For a minute there, I wasn't fucking with McConnell. <laughs> yeah, McConnell, <old> turtleneck ass. <laughs> For a minute, I was like, man, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> there was a moment where I hated him. No, no, I got one. And I don't, you know me, I like to be positive. Yeah. Tucker Carlson. Oh, that, no, yeah, I he can go straight hell. to hell. Yeah. <laughs> That's one thing he he wants to go to hell. I feel like he really wants to go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> he really does want to go to hell. He's awful. He is. But he he gets paid to do a lot of say a lot of yeah, off he's like shit. A, he's like a Skip Bayless he, type. Right? Yeah, he yeah. just wanted he just off the fly. But his shit be so ridiculous. And people like go by he this shit. Eating that shit up. I'm like, I be like, how no, do you? How what do the you? fuck? No, are you hearing this? Like, like I no you, logic. I sent you a video once of some Fox News shit, and it was Tucker Carlson. I remember that. Yeah, and I was just I ain't, you didn't I know you didn't know who he was. I know you At didn't know nothing about Fox News. I was just like I want to see how do you feel about this news. And you just like, I don't like this shit. <laughs> it was almost like, why would you send me this? Like, yeah. This is supposed to be encouraging? I was, I was wondering. I was like, why are you sending me this <laughs> old dumb exactly, man? That's exactly why I did it. That nigga's terrible. Yeah, he's, he's my, I despise him the most. Okay. Way over Trump. Trump, Trump, Trump. Uh, Trump I'll say Trump because you said Tucker Carlson. But I'll I say Trump right now for me. I, I can't. I couldn't even watch this shit going on to the plane today. I, I can't watch him speak because I was like, <laughs> I don't know, he's bro. Awful. Just, ugh. And they, and they, that nigga stay patting his own bed. Don't nobody he pat, pat his, his own bed. like a motherfucker. Beep, beep. beep, beep. Uh. <laughs> oh, my God. He's such a pat statter. Ooh. Stat patter. What characteristic are you most known for? Ah. Um. In your opinion. That, that's the best part about this question. It's based on what we think. Oh, okay. Based on what you think. Not based on what people. Well, no. I mean, the question just says. What characteristic are you most known for? But my point is, is you don't know what I know you most for. You only can just assume that. Unless people tell you all the time. Unless I guess you tell you. That's a good point. That's a good point. I guess it's a good point. You got me. Um, I'm most known for um, the way I think. Just like my mind and shit. People always talk about, damn, you know, I like your perspective. Like your perspective is just so different. And you just so, you don't, I didn't think about like that. So I think I'm most known for like. Just my perspective. Yeah, I already agree with that. You've definitely helped me get to different perspectives that I, I enjoy. Huh? Uh, for me, what would I think? Mm. I think there's a few things, but uh, if I had to pick one, I, I want to say I'm silly. Okay. I mean, you are. I would say that's up there. Silliness. It's up there. I'd it's, say. I don't know if it's number one, but it's definitely up there. Uh, Mike, I know what Mike says is he just thinks I have this extra gene to just like to give it the hundred percent, hundred ten. I like to hope that you know, I like to think that when, when Chris does something, he gonna do it. You know, I, I I hope people think that. But I would say I'm definitely a hype man. Okay. I would say a lot of people think look at me as a hype man because I hype motherfuckers up all that's and I I enjoy doing inspiring. it. Inspiring, they inspire people. You know. Yeah. I feel like, oh, that, how about that? If, if that, just an, an inspiring person. Yeah. And, and half of that I do just through trying to fix my own shit and just being vocal about it. But, again, I'm super, I'm not very humble at all, I'm, and I don't claim to be humble. But I also, in the same sentence, same breath, 
say you shouldn't be humble either because you dope too. Mm-hmm. And I think that's why it doesn't come off as like I'm like this arrogant piece of shit is because it was like, nah, we all should be dope. Like, to be honest, we all are dope. So you just have to get, you just have to, you just have to believe unlock it. Unlock that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But we, you're dope. You just don't know you're dope. Yeah. And like you said, unlock that shit. So I would say probably an inspiration. What would you, I don't know. I like that. No, I like that. I think the inspirational thing is is is, is definitely cool. And I like, it, so this is the difference. This is, a, I, let me get my words right. So I understand like the Kanye comparison or inspiration that you were talking about earlier too, because like you, I'm the same way with that. But the difference between, I had somebody compare like Tupac and Kanye, right? Mm, that's interesting. Because they kind of have a lot of similar messaging. Well, as of late, I don't know what the fuck Kanye's doing. But they have a lot of similar messaging, but Tupac shit was all about we. And Kanye shit is all about I. It's like, I'm the great. I can do this. I do this, uh, blah, 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 blah. But it's kind of the same message. He's trying to say, like, we all kind of can do this shit. But he's saying it as him, himself as the example. Whereas Tupac was like, we got to do this. We can do that. We blah, blah, blah. So it's just about the messaging. And I feel like your messaging is like, I'm. that's why you said I'm not humble about it. So you can understand, like, the Kanye kind of non-humbleness with it. But it's also you're spreading the message to people, like, we can all be fucking right, dope if right. we just unlock it, which is like a very Tupac characteristic. Yeah, it, was, it really, it really is just a matter of uh, one of the self permission. For some reason, that that self permission. I like that. I'm gonna put that on a shirt. But it's that's what you need because a lot of people you need present like from your parents or your spouse or society is like no, give like yourself that. the permission. Mm. Give it to yourself. Just do it yourself. And then I, I think that's like a that right there alone is kind of big. It's like mm-hmm. oh wait, I I can't just give myself permission, huh? It's interesting. Yeah. So definitely inspiration. I would say that. I would say what I'd say about you. Definitely perspective, because like w- one of the main, f- and I would say you're just very, uh, your vibe game strong. I would say you're positive, and like a non. Like you have no like shitty negative energy. Like I know around you is gonna be it's gonna be light, it's gonna be fun. You know what I'm saying? I know we're going to be growing. Yeah. So that, that, not to say that it's not serious. It's to say that I just know that if I'm going to be around the Eric, the vibe's going to be right. Yeah. You know? I will say one one more thing that I just thought about. Uh, consistent. Mm. Consistent, too. That's a big one because that's, that's probably one of the hardest ones. Yeah, that's super consistent. I mean, super hard, but consistent. Because like we said earlier, you don't see, you don't see the, the fruits of your labor so quick sometimes. And, right. You know? Just even with other people, like you just when you say you're gonna do something, you do it. You do it. Ha, oh, there's nothing worse than that. <laughs> boy, boy, boy. Oh, when, there's when nothing you're a consistent worse. person, you realize how inconsistent people really extremely are. But I think people fuck with that though. When they know when they can when they can set they watch to what you say. Yeah. I love look, nigga, I showed up to your shit. <laughs> Ain't talked to you since what, yesterday or something like that, showed up right on time. And, and you knew I wouldn't have to, like, I'm not, you know what I'm saying? And I know, that's what, that's what I'm saying, the consistency. That's yeah. why I'm saying the quality about both of us. Like, I love, you're, like, one of the most consistent people in my life. Yeah, same. Right, right back at you. Like, when you, when I when I say I'm going to do something, I'm going to fucking do it. I know you, you ain't got to talk about away. it. Yeah. You ain't got to talk about it. We're going to do it? Cool. Yeah. Bet. All right, done. Love it. And <laughs> if something was to happen, you let it, let it be known. Right, but, like, course. yeah. Ooh. What is your most treasured possession? We'll do like two, two more. All right, after this, shit, my mind. Mm, I was, I was about to say that too, but that's my a good mind one. is fucking treasure chest, boy. It's out here like this shit is some shit I can't even believe I have. Yeah, it's, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a, a big ass supercomputer. Yeah, it, it's better than the fucking computer, shit. Right, and it's it's you have to, but you have to work at it. It's like a yes, yes, yes. You, yes, you yes. it's so crazy. Yes, <laughs> people ask me all the time, like you know how you get to like, and I've said this on the pod. I've said it again. A lot of times, a lot of things, a lot of trying to get your shit because I know emotions can run wild, mm-hmm. especially if you if you're an emotional human being, you know. So then you got to be able to control some of that shit. And you're like, whoa, hold on. Get, take it suspect. Think about it. Mm. Holy fuck, you're right, man. Mm. Your brain, that's... How about that material thing? A material thing? My most prized possession? <laughs> shit, my fucking iPhone? <laughs> no, yeah, like, I mean, <laughs> shit, though. But shit, though. Hey, internet, that's like a brain, shit. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> you, <laughs> I guess you got maybe some like some heirlooms or something. Maybe that's maybe they you could some be heirlooms. 
Isn't it heirlooms? What's that? <laughs> I don't remember saying it wrong. Isn't it like like, like, a, fa- like, a, fa- like a family heirloom? I I know what it, I've is that heard, how you say it? Yeah, I think you're saying it right, but I don't know what an heirloom is. <laughs> let's let's Google it, Nick. <laughs> yeah, please. <laughs> Google's my best possession. <laughs> Fuck you, mean? Hold on. <laughs> what is an heirloom? Oh, hold on, my fault. Here's the definition of heirloom: a valuable object that has belonged to a family for several generations. Uh, also, it has to be a family heirloom. Okay, I didn't know that. There you go. I don't something. think I got shit like that. Yeah, man. Shit. Shit, my grandma saved some teeth one time, man. <laughs> I got, uh... Nah, I ain't got shit. Yet. I ain't got nothing that's <laughs> at the end of the day. I could yeah. probably get rid of more shit, to be honest. Right. <laughs> I got too much shit. In this uh, yeah, I don't, like, object shit, I'm... Yeah, I don't really... I like I like my Dutch oven. You like your Dutch oven? <laughs> I don't use it, that, <laughs> but I like my Dutch oven. All right, well, if you go into a Dutch oven, I'm going my goddamn phone, shit. Uh, no, nah, the phone's... Which sucks, because you almost feel like you don't want to say that. I know. But it's like, no, they get that's, are you kidding me? Yeah, it's so good. This shit gets my brain where it needs to be. Right, 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 I right. Information out. <laughs> okay, this is interesting. It's kind of, what's your favorite gadget? Like the same thing. Yeah, same shit. I, that's, that's yeah, what's, up, what's, what's up with that? All these, yeah, this, okay, yeah I'm going to ask one more. This is, I'm yeah, kind of yeah. mad now. <laughs> oh, I already asked that. I'll ask you too. What was your first screen name? Screen? Yeah. What do you mean? Like online. Oh, I just, it was just my name. <laughs> like, I ain't trying to do nothing. Yeah, I ain't, my name is so different, so it's like, so, so you was always able to go as me. Why didn't you do that with your IG? I did. But it's like, you have it all special and different. I have a three with it, but it's still D'Eric. No, but I'm saying, but okay, but then you all, but then you got the TV. Well, I, because I can't just put D'Eric, because they, somebody had it. Oh, because somebody already yeah. had it, okay. All right, let's try the other ones, because these are getting repetitive. All right, let's do a couple more, and then we can get out of here. All right, cool. Let's cook some dinner. Hey, let's use that. This just says why I quit <laughs> and then blank. Why that? you quit uh, drinking? Is that like what it means? I think so. And then answer it. Why I quit drinking? Yeah. Uh, for many reasons. One, it's a poison. It literally poisons you, and I typically didn't feel great after drinking. Uh, the initial start was because my liver enzymes were higher, mm. which I have brought back, by the way. So those are good to go. Uh, but probably the biggest one was, uh, we talked about this before, but uh, I was using that as my confidence. You know, I would get super fucked up. And then when I was super fucked up, then I had like, this, uh, this fake ass confidence. But it, it's mm. not real, real because you're using the substance to get you there. It ain't truly in your core, confident about who you are in your skin. It was like, uh, I'm confident in my skin because I'm fucked up. Because mm. I got booze running through my skin, you know? So that's mm. probably why. Why That's the main reason. And and it's been the number one thing I've ever done for myself. And it's not even close. Damn. It's the best thing I've ever done for myself is to stop drinking. Nice. Especially once I realize I can have more fun without it. More mm-hmm. fun. That's what I think a lot of people get... Because it's so embedded in the you know society that that's what we do. We you, you that's how we have fun. It's it's all of its parties. We drink right. 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 It's but it's like you don't. But that's you being taught that. that that's not the facts. That's not the facts. The facts are that drinking is a fucking poison. It's a, and it's a depressant, isn't it? And it's literally a depressant. Yeah. You it, it what is de- it makes you feel like shit eventually. <laughs> you know. Yeah. So I don't know, man. That, that was probably the, for me. What nice. about you? Well, actually, recently, I, I, I ain't going to say I stopped smoking weed, but I'm not buying it anymore as of right now. Um, just because my tolerance is getting way too fucking high. <laughs> yeah, you was becoming a fresh professional. Yeah, I was becoming a professional weed smoker and shit, and it was just getting too high. I need to calm that shit down. So I'm getting my natural herbal godly juices and herbs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not doing that one. All right, let's do this is the last one. I'm not doing that. I don't know if I like these. Oh, here we go. Share a time saving tip. Ooh. Nope, nope. I'm scr- scratching that. Okay. Uh, this one's you like better. That one better. Debunk myths in your industry. So let's debunk myths in the hospitality industry. Okay. Because we, we know that pretty well. <laughs> myths in hospitality. What's some myths that... Well, and just to make it fun, we'll add some shits that's true, too. 
Okay. <laughs> I was about to say, I know more true shit. <laughs> Stereotypical shit that's kind of true. Some of that shit, yeah. <laughs> like, like, my cousins, our cousins, we just don't tip like that. that I understand why. Yeah, I understand see, I can, why, too. I can explain more shit as to why they happen more so than a myth. But let me see. A myth Well, again, you have to be taught industry. that shit. It's going back to that original point. Right. No, I think I told you this story. My grandmother legitimately thought 15% was a phenomenal tip. Yeah. She thought that. Yeah. And I'm like, ma. She goes, I'm like, what'd you tip? She goes, oh, I tipped them good. I'm like, what'd you tip? She goes, don't worry about it. I'm like, ma, what'd you tip? She goes, I tip 15%. I'm like, ma, that was like in the 60s. That was, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like 20% right. is like the the new 15. She's doing better than a lot of people I run into because they be like, here you go, young fella, five bucks. Boy, you did good, boy. But my point is, and that's even knowing, and she had some, you know, someone who worked in the industry, you know what I'm saying? Right. But my point is, is even she didn't know. She right. had to be taught that. Exactly. And that's like a class thing. You, you yeah, know what it saying? is. That is. I mean, you think about it, a lot of black neighborhoods around the country, you don't have restaurants where you're sitting down yeah. tipping and shit. It's fast food joints and it's, shit like that. That's and a good point. Yeah, they don't have, we don't have a tipping culture. That's a good point. Oh, I understand wait, this shit wait, there's, so much. There's no, there's very few sit downs in the hood. No. You might get a Chili's or something. Maybe, but but it ain't like ain't, like here where right. we can go to sit down within three minutes. And yeah, get most those. stuff is just fast food. It's just like the like like Harold's where you go to the counter. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Let me get two. Uh, let me get a three peas mild uh, <laughs> fry hard. Right, but the, <laughs> they, they right. It's feeding us just bullshit. Just it's 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 food deserts and stuff. So we don't have that tipping culture and stuff like that. So I understand when the shit happens. I don't like it, but it's, it's, I understand it. Yeah. yeah. So I would definitely say that there's some stereotypes that are true. Um, what are the ones that's bad? Like motherfuckers ain't ain't spitting in your shit. Yeah, ain't nobody spitting in your. At least no, don't I, nobody care that much. Don't nobody care that damn much. Um, especially because nah, if you I get caught, like that's shit. lawsuits. You know, that's yeah, they always think somebody spit. And I think, <laughs> oh, I will. Let me see, because we deal with a lot of. It's different when you deal with meat. When meat is the main course, like a steak or something like that, it's a whole different ball game. Like people have this psychological thing and, and about like color. And meat and stuff. And it's funny because a lot of times shit ain't as people. People. What I notice is people look at stuff and they decide if they want to either over the taste. Oh, right. Right. You know what I mean? But right. it's so it's such a psychological thing. I don't know if this is like kind of like the medium, like medium rare, rare. thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like a it's, it's very it, it's a weird thing to me. It's very weird. I don't know. It's not anything to do with a myth. It's just kind of like, yeah, here's the here's things. the fucking myth. Or this is the truth. I don't know how you say it, but medium, medium rare tastes better. That's the myth. That's the truth. Yeah, that's the truth. <laughs> that's the fucking truth. That's, <laughs> it, it's way better. Right. You cook your shit well done. That's just oh, it's, it's, all it's, the here's, an, here's a myth that you have to cook your pork all the way through. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, it don't. Ha- it could be medium rare. Okay. That's good. Trigonosis, which, 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 which is a reason why motherfuckers was cooking pork throughout because niggas was catching that. It hasn't been one of those in like a bunch of years, like literally hundreds of years or some mm-hmm, shit. Mm-hmm. So yeah, you could definitely because I remember working at a restaurant. I'm like, I'm like, what's up with the pork, man? We gonna serve this shit? She goes, nah, there ain't a thing no more. Yeah. But like any kind of quality pork p- or place cooking meat, a lot of times the pork is a little, it's not perfectly cooked. Right. Kind of goes in the same thing with like steaks and shit. Yeah, like that. same principle. Yeah, but I just know people principle. like like chicken where you have to cook it to right, 165. Right, right. You know right. what I'm saying? True. Pork you don't have to have at 165. Interesting. I like that. Um. Here's another myth that runny egg is good. I think that shit is disgusting. A uh, runny egg. I just had an egg over easy this morning. You be popping it with the toast? No, I don't pop it. I just let it. I just let pop it in my mouth. It's runny it. egg though, right? Yeah. Yeah, I can't do it. I can't do it. Why not? I don't. I, see, it's my text. It's like, <laughs> it's, like <laughs> it's like a it's like a liquid baby. Like, I don't. I it can't. Really I, is, it's actually. a liquid fucking baby. It kind of is a liquid. Low baby. key eggs, I, and I love them. Are fucked up. Uh huh. It's kind of, it is kind fucked, of up. fucked up. Meat in general, like, listen, I I love meat. I just got done with my uh, all meat diet, but like, like wings, and you know we eat wings. Yeah, like a pile of bones is kind of. I don't know. I, I always get a little. So weird. you fuck with a pile of bones? Well, you don't fuck with the pile of bones and wings? No, I mean I do, but I I you look at it and I feel it? weird about it. So I I do say this about since we're talking about eggs and wings and shit, it ain't a myth or something like that. It's actually true, but. It kind of fucked me up a couple years ago to realize and truly understand that all of those things are dinosaurs. Oh, you was just you just made a post about this recently. I just didn't made you? a full video about this. Yeah. yeah, like every single chicken that you've ever eaten is a like all of that is a dinosaur. We've been Jurassic Park in this shit and Land Before Time in this shit. We're literally eating dinosaurs and we we've been doing this shit our whole lives. Dinosaurs never died off. They just the ones who were. Um, 
uh, what do you call them, arboreal? I think, not, I think that's climbing. The ones that are airborne were the ones who survived. Mm-hmm. The great, great the great, um, um, the great apocalypse of yeah, the Yeah, apocalypse dinosaurs. or whatever it was, 65 million years ago. So all of them died off eventually throughout time and shit. It didn't just happen and they all died. It's like pollution and all this other stuff, other stuff happens. But the ones who were um, f- uh, able to fly, they're the ones who survived. Matter of fact, the chicken specifically, I think the rooster is the uh, the dinosaur that is most closely related to Tyrannosaurus Rex genetically. Looks like it. They all look like fucking Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> but Tyrannosaurus Rex, they think they, they, it had a gene for uh, feathers. So it, it most likely had feathers and shit. I would have never thought about they that. Even, the way they move everything, like it's literally a chicken, a, a pigeon, uh, an ostrich, that all those is, are dinosaurs. What's the difference between uh, a rooster? I have no idea. And a, <laughs> a cock. <laughs> a cock. What's the difference between a, 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 a rooster or a hen? What, is a rooster? No, a hen. Yeah, I have no idea. What's the difference between a hen and a hoe? A hen? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> they both. A, a rooster, a hen goes crock a doodle doo. And the hen goes, and the hoe will go, any cock will do. <laughs> you, you stupid. <laughs> That's my dirty dad joke. That's my dirty dad That's joke. Dope. Uh, what the fuck was I saying? Uh, what the fuck was I talking about? Cocks and roosters and <laughs> birds. Nigga, you was talking about No, I was, dude. Um, you know what? We got some good timing. We got an hour and 26. Let's end it, man. Yeah, let's get to it. Uh, shout your shit out, man. Let people know. Yes. Um. You can actually, you know what, go to my Instagram. It's going to be D-E-R-I-C, D-E-R-I-C dot TV. Um, also, um, you find a lot of my content on there, but I'm also building a lot of different uh, platforms. So I have um, my main source of you can reach me at is PCAProductions.com. That's what I really want to push more so than anything. That is uh, part of my small business that I'm starting. Pretty Cool Apes Productions. Uh, you can find my music on there. You can find my creative content. You can find my apparel. Um, and it's just building more and more and more every day. So PCAProductions.com. If you want to support me, go ahead and check that out. Uh, you can follow me on any platform at Chris Cares None. Hey. Uh, I got a website coming pretty. Uh, I'm using the same people that Derek used. Uh, what was it? Zupa? Yeah. Very, very, very high quality shit. So my shit's coming out soon. It's gonna be caresnone.com. Yay. It's gonna be a thing. It's gonna be a thing. Put a dot com right there, motherfucker. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> I probably should. Um you, did you notice this? Yes, I did. That was a gift. Yeah, I, I gave you this one from uh from afar. What? Oh. Collar pop. You like it? Of course. It's just kinda dope. It looks like a thing you put on top of it like a, a box and just yeah, put it in. <laughs> like a stencil. I kind of think it is that. It probably is. Shit, hey, whatever. They told it. me it was a sign, but I'm like, mm, I don't know. Like, that's a weird sign, right? It ain't weird. It, it, it would work good with like a like a like a, a ink roller. I think that would be perfect, like on a box. Oh no, it's a good sign. It's a sign. It's because it's heavy. Yeah, I feel like that shit would be cheap or something. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, because it would last forever. Be, oh, whatever. Uh, yeah, you can follow me, Chris Cares None. Um, and as always, hey, cares done, nigga. <laughs>